Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sun and fun get started. Experimental and light sport aircraft have a new engine choice. First four-place sling home-built airplane in the U.S. is now certificated. And Avidine joins in the electric trainer plane project. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. People cast a wary eye to the sky on Monday as the final preparations were made for the Sun and Fun Expo and Fly-In at Lakeland Linder Regional Airport in Lakeland, Florida. And with good cause. Monday afternoon brought some torrential rains to Central Florida. But preparations continued, and Tuesday morning dawned cloudy but dry for the official opening of the show. There's a lot going on here this week. Over at Redbird, three students are taking part in a one-week to solo program. They began their training last Saturday and are scheduled to fly in the showcase this coming Saturday. Much of their training will be done in the Sims at the Redbird tent. There will be daily air shows, opportunities to try out high-end UAVs, the Ford Tri-Motor, always popular at Oshkosh, is here giving rides to benefit a local group of teens who have restored a vintage cub. There's plenty to see and do, and we'll bring you highlights throughout the week here on Airborne Unlimited. The experimental and light sport aircraft market now expect a new engine choice. Tim Archer, the CEO of Superior Aviation Group, has announced that the company has acquired the Gemini diesel engine and has begun active development of the current engines, as well as planning the introduction of new models. Archer said, quote, Adding the new Gemini diesel engine to our product family is just the next step in our continuing efforts to provide the right engine solution at the right time and price, end quote. The engine has a unique uniflow design featuring two opposing pistons per cylinder. This means the Gemini will be smaller than many current gasoline and diesel piston engines, giving it a significant power to weight ratio advantage and making it especially attractive to the experimental and LSA markets initially. Superior says they're offering the Gemini diesel to the experimental and LSA markets first because the 100 horsepower Gemini 100 is much further along in its development cycle. Archer says the engine is meeting performance goals and they anticipate having pre-production engines within 90 days. The engine is designed to operate on Jet A fuel. Last week, the Airplane Factory USA received a special airworthiness certificate for the first Sling 4 kit airplane built in the United States. Sling has a number of their two-place kit-built LSAs certificated in flying in the U.S. And now their first certificated four-place kit-built airplane has been added to the fleet. The Sling 4 was designed with the aim of placing a practical and lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. A niche Sling claims has not previously been filled. The plane is basically an elongated version of its sibling, the Sling LSA. However, it uses the more powerful Rotax 914 UL turbocharged engine and has going doors instead of a sliding canopy. The Sling 4 can carry four adults, their baggage, and at six hours of fuel while cruising at 120 knots. After the break, all-electric trainer airplane chooses Avidine for the cockpit. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100, and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, 
Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. We're getting closer to an all-electric training plane as the Aero Electric Aircraft Corporation, known as AEAC, has selected the Avidine Corporation to collaborate on the development of the avionics panel for their Sunflyer Solar Electric Training Aircraft. AEAC is planning to offer the first practical U.S. certified all-electric airplane serving the aviation training markets. The company unveiled the single-seat technology demonstrator for its next-generation solar electric training aircraft while they continue to perform initial R&D flight test operations for the first two-seat prototype Sunflyer. AEAC is licensing technology from PC Aero and collaborating with Redbird Flight Simulations to offer a comprehensive pilot training system. With some 2,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, it's fun to look back and enjoy the places we've seen, the pilots we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. It's a certified engine. They've got over 3,500 of these engines flying right now, so they've got good reputation. And so we ended up going with what is called a Centurion 2.0S by Continental. Diesel engines are just starting to show up in type certificated aircraft. And now Glass Air is introducing the diesel technology in a home built airplane. Search Doing It Diesel Style on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, Whip Air at Leesburg welcomes new general manager. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Explore no limits flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've summarized some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Whip Air has named Bill Pike as the general manager of Whip Air's Leesburg, Florida Service Center. Pike will be responsible for the general operations of Whip Air Service Center at the Leesburg facility. A unique hydrofoil amphibious air ambulance with STOL ability is nominated for the James Dyson Award. Its inventor, Wolfram Boehm, designed the ALA DC-310 to land as close to the patient as possible. The Proud Bird lives. The Proud Bird restaurant, an LAX icon since it first opened in 1967, has been fighting for its survival. Now things have changed and a new 20 year lease has been signed with the LAX Airport Commission. We're still a long way off from 3D printing a complete engine, but the GE 9094B engine has now been certified with a 3D printed sensor housing. The part is being retrofitted on more than 400 engines. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. Aspen Avionics makes ADS-B equipment a little more affordable by reducing the price on its single band ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers. 
originally priced at $3,995. The ATX100 now lists for $2,645. The recently certified ATX 100G price has also been reduced to $3,495 from $4,995. Aspen's single band and dual band ADSB solutions are all compatible with Aspen Evolution, PFDs, and MFDs. Both these single band units are for operations below 18,000 feet. ATX 100 ADSB transceivers provides ADS-B in and out capability for aircraft equipped with a Mode AC or Mode S transponder and a WASP GPS navigation receiver. ATX 100G ADS-B transceiver with internal WASP GPS sensor provides ADS-B in and out capability for aircraft equipped with a Mode AC or Mode S transponder without a compatible WASP GPS navigation receiver. Well, that's our program for Wednesday, April 22nd. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.